Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, September 4th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Or with an April 15th deadline. That's the deadline for filing your taxes, so this is going to be the IRS. Sheepish, I'm to blame. Hmm, there's a lot of ways to say that. Let's try and get some more crossing help here. Forever wandering. It's not roving, is it? It's not roaming either. Hmm, what is this going to be? Crumbly pastry topping. Crumbly. I think there is a specific word for this. What is this? I think we've seen this once or twice before. Let's get some crossing help on this one too. Youngins. Is that just tots? Yeah. You know what? I think this might be streusel. Is it like that? Let's see. Suffix with Japan or Taiwan. That could be Japanese, Taiwanese. Chaotic situation. Is it just a mess? I do like that this ends in me. I'm to blame. Maybe it's, it's on me. Yeah. So what do we have here? Forever wandering. It almost feels like it wants to be homeless, but I don't think that's right. Is it rootless? Does that make sense? I don't like this NLS. Urban renewal targets. Hmm. Interesting. It almost feels like we might have a wrong answer here somewhere. Groups of first stringers. It's not A teams. Are both of these down answers wrong? Loud door closings. That seems like it should be slams. So maybe it's not streusel. Yeah, maybe I'm off base there. Hmm. Maybe this is slums. And it's not, it's on me either. Oh man, what a tricky corner for a Monday puzzle. It was me? Groups of first stringers. Yeah, there we go. This is A teams. Okay. It is rootless. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this grid spanner here. It looks like this is going to be a theme answer. UN conference seeking to eliminate hunger. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's going to start with world. Oh, we just spelled streusel wrong. <laughs> it had an EU. Okay. Um, I don't know how this is going to end, though. Yeah, we're going to need more help here. Inseparable buds in brief. That should really be BFFs, right? Baseball hit just over the infield. That's called a bloop. Jane, who won an Oscar for Coming Home. Is that Jane Fonda? I haven't heard of that movie. John for Elton John. Okay, Elton John is British, so they're asking for a British term for the John. That's a slang term for toilet, so that'll be a loo. That's kind of tricky. Musician Yoko. That's Yoko Ono. Most unreal. That's got to be oddest. So last year, that thing would be very passe, out of fashion. So we have world food. I wonder if it's a world food summit. That sounds like something the UN would have. Mind reader's ability for short. That would be extra sensory perception. Higher ups, superiors. Cash dispenser for short, that's an ATM. Biology lab gel. We just had Petri of Petri dish fame on the puzzle a couple of days ago. This is going to be agar that goes in the Petri dish. Result of a slip of the finger on a keyboard. That would be a typo. Yeah, I make those on the crossword puzzle sometimes. Holder of sneakers, athletic attire, etc. 
That should probably be a gym bag, right? Per item should be a piece. Biodegraded. I think that's gotta be rotted. So this is a bet, a wager, that's right. Suffers humiliation. Okay, this is another theme answer. It looks like we're gonna get a revealer down here. Hmm, maybe this is loses face. So do these two things have anything in common? World Food Summit loses face. Hmm, not that I can see so far. Folk stories, that's gotta be lore. Oppressively burdensome. That would be onerous. Nice. I don't know about that. Iki. That's gotta be sore. Secret agent. That should be a spy. Info slangily. Could that be the dope? Yeah, that's kind of old fashioned slang at this point. Easter egg coloring. That's dye. Brainchild. I think this has to be an idea. Okay, this has got to be another theme answer. Gradual, seemingly harmless course of action that ultimately results in bad consequences. Hmm. What are they talking about here? It starts with slipper. Harmless course of action. I wonder if I haven't heard of this before. Yeah, let's try and get it on crosses. Saturated as fries and onion rings. Maybe that's oily? Let's see. Egad. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. This is kind of old-timey language. So we need another kind of old-timey expression of surprise. Hmm. I wonder if it's like, yipe? Oh, this could be a slippery slope, right? There we go. Archipelago component. An archipelago would be made of aisles, but it's just one aisle because they asked for component singular. Go by jet eg. That's gotta be fly. Hypotheticals are ifs. Burkina Faso, African country. So this is aged like scotch whiskey. Okay, pull a fast one on, that's gonna be dupe. Seeing romantic partners. That should be dating, right? Southernmost of the Great Lakes. That's Lake Erie. Let's see if we can build off of this. Captivate. Maybe that's enamor? That does fit. Any of four punk rock brothers. I wonder if they're talking about the Ramones. So they're just asking for one. So this would be a Ramon. Nice. Medical device that infuses fluids into the body in brief. Does it start with IV? Place of worship. <laughs> And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. I think they're making a pun about the phrase place of worship, but we have worship instead. So maybe this is gonna be a naval base. That's a place you could find a warship. So this does start with IV. Hmm, electric violin hookup. I guess you would hook that up to an amp, right? Hmm, I wonder if I've heard of this device before. This rounds on me. That's always nice to hear. Seized wheels informally. That would be a repo, right? A repossession. So this has to be an Ivy pump, I guess. Roll for Keanu Reeves in the Matrix. He was Neo. Back muscle in brief. That could be your lat nonchalant. I think this has to be blasé. You're very casual. Snide comments. Okay, they're asking for comments plural. So it's probably gonna end in an S. 
Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Some frozen waffles. That's got to be Eggos. Remind, remind, remind. And this has an exclamation point at the end of it. That's usually an indication that we're dealing with a literal clue. I'm not sure how to interpret this clue, though. What would be a way to remind? Hmm. Remind, remind, remind. That's very tricky. I'm not sure what this answer is. Crow Magnin? You know what? This is a plural answer, but it doesn't end in an S. This is going to be snark. Yeah, that's very tricky. Hmm. Remind, remind, remind. This looks like it's going to be nag, right? I don't think this is a literal clue. I think they're just using this exclamation point for emphasis. Yeah, very, very tricky types. That should be ilks. Okay, should we finally look at the revealer here before we get it all filled in? Let's do that. One who encounters the last parts of the answers to the starred clues on the way up. Oh, we've got a summit, a face, a slope, and a base. Oh my god, that is very tricky. It is going to be a mountain climber, right? I like that they put these in order too. You start at the base, you go up the slope, you get to the mountain face, and then you finally reach the summit. That is really, really nice. That's a very tight set of theme answers. Okay, so this is going to be a mountain climber. All right, let's just finish off this corner here. No time to chat, another equivalent phrase. It should be something like, I've got to go, but that's too long. That's more than I needed to know. Yet another equivalent phrase. TMI, too much information. Seizes. Hmm. This could be about taking something by force. It could also be about something like an engine seizing up, kind of freezing. Hmm. I guess it could just be takes, right? Tropical trees. Yeah, that should be palms. Muscles above the abs. Okay, they asked for muscles plural, so this is going to be pecs plural. Okay. Game for an infant. That's got to be peekaboo. Yada, yada, yada. Yet another equivalent phrase. That should really be etc. Okay, when you getting here, another equivalent phrase, and this is using very informal language, so our answer should be very informal also. Maybe it's just ETA, that's very brusque, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be I'm late. Separate by category, that should be sort, and Western Treaty Group. And we have an abbreviation in the clue, so that means our answer should be abbreviated. Hmm. What is this? States with confidence. Okay, that's asserts. So this is OAS. I'm not actually sure if I know what this stands for. OAS. That's very interesting. Well, hopefully we just all learned what it stands for. So let's go ahead and throw this S in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 17 minutes. So I really liked this mountain climber theme, especially the fact that our parts of the mountain increase in altitude as you go up the puzzle. That is a very nice little touch. Base, slope, face, summit. Yeah, that was really well done. I think this nice theme kind of constrained the rest of the fill though. And I think that's why this felt a little more difficult than an average Monday puzzle. We had kind of tricky fill like Streusel and OAS here. And thinking about it more, I think this has shown up once or twice before but it's been a while since we've seen it. I think it might stand for 
Order of American States. I think they're like a democracy promotion organization. But anyway, yeah, we also had IV Pump, Blase, Onerous, Passe. I mean, these aren't crazy hard words, but it is kind of surprising to see them all on a Monday puzzle. And I think that's just because they kind of needed to use some of them in order to fit all these theme answers in. But still, I enjoyed the challenge of scaling this mountain of a Monday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed climbing this mountain with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time.